The influx of people moving to Bay County means local schools have to be prepared to fill more seats. And the price tag to do that isn't cheap. That's why Bay District School Board members are having to increase the budget. News Channel 7's Victoria Scott went to the school board's special meeting today and joins us in our studio in Victoria. Can you break down the numbers for us? Yes, Nisa. The proposed school year budget is up by nearly $100 million, and board members say more families moving to the area is a factor. The proposed budget for the school year currently stands at around $701 million. Last year, it was close to $608 million. Board members say more families moving to the area due to the Tyndall rebuild is playing a role. They also say the increase is meant to be a proactive measure to ensure every student has a spot in the classroom. When you look at those numbers, it's easy to say, man, the school board has a lot more money. Holy smokes, you know, $100 million more or whatever it might be. But the caveat is, is that we're going to have to spend a lot of that on the growth that generated it in the first place in regards to the new students that are coming in and populating those single family homes and condos and apartments and those kind of things. So it's easy to say they got a lot more money to spend. Yes, but we have a lot more students to spend that money on. School board members say it's too soon to give an exact number on how many new students will, will come to the schools in the county. The board will vote on the final budget August 3rd. They say they're expanding the buildings at some schools to meet the growing demand of students. And Victoria, what about any other important agenda items? Sure, the board approved the tentative millage rate. Taxpayers can look forward to a slight decrease in their property taxes. The proposed rate is 5.48 mills. Last year's rate was 5.5 mills, so it went down by 0 0.02 mills. That amount in dollars will be different for every taxpayer. But any little bit helps. Thanks, Victoria.